What's up, Marvel Snappers? Welcome to another Math Breakdown. Today we are going to take a look at Crystal and the odds surrounding her unique effect. On reveal, if this is at the middle location, shuffle your hand into your deck and draw three cards. Now, card draw is very rare in Marvel Snap, but this effect isn't plus three cards generally. As you shuffle your hand into the deck, you can redraw the cards you shuffled away. The more cards you can play out beforehand, the better this effect can be, although you do need to have played at least four cards prior to actually gain card advantage. For the most part, this effect is just a chance to see a new combination of cards rather than being actual card draw. In a normal game, you have a 58.3% chance to draw a desired card by turn 4, meaning you are more likely to have drawn the card than not. This is extra relevant with Crystal, as if you have the card or cards you want in hand already and also draw the Crystal, you likely do not want to shuffle away that hand and risk not redrawing the cards. This table looks at the odds at work to draw a desired card on turn 5 after playing Crystal on turn 4. Crystal shuffles your hand back in, then draws 3 cards. You will then also draw a card at the start of turn 5 for a total of 4 new cards. The fewer cards you play out before Crystal, the more cards you shuffle in, which lowers the odds of getting the card you want. With zero extra cards played, you have only played Crystal, meaning these draws will be from an 11 card deck. Each card you manage to play beforehand improves your odds as you will have less cards to draw through. By turn 4, you will have drawn a total of 7 cards, meaning Crystal plus 6 extra cards is the most you could theoretically play out under normal circumstances, although that will basically never happen. I just wanted to show the odds at the theoretical best case. For reference, you have a 66.7% chance to draw the desired card by turn 5 in a normal game anyways. So 33% of the time you wouldn't have drawn the card, and the column on the right roughly shows how much extra consistency Crystal potentially adds. We combine the odds of drawing Crystal by turn 4, the 33.3% chance that you did not draw the desired card, and then the odds of drawing it after playing Crystal. For more context, this is a hypothetical situation where you could reach the 6 extra cards played, having an empty hand after playing Crystal. Zero cost cards or discards are also ways to get there, but overall this is an incredibly unlikely scenario. We will touch on Zabu a bit later. Now we can look at shifting the goalpost to see the desired card by turn 6 after playing Crystal on turn 4. A few things to note here. First, if you somehow manage to empty your hand by the time you play Crystal on turn 4, you actually have a 100% chance to draw the desired card as you shuffle no cards back into the deck and get plus 3 draws, meaning you will end up drawing the entire deck. Second, the column on the right goes down compared to turn 5, as you are more likely to see the desired card by turn 6 anyways. Under normal circumstances, you have a 75% chance to draw the card, so the calculation is done on the 25% of the time you would have missed, compared to the 33.3% chance of the previous table. We can also take a quick look at the odds when it comes to drawing a combination of cards. The column on the right increases more dramatically compared to drawing a single card, as extra cards drawn impacts the odds of drawing two specific cards more significantly than a single card. This table also has a unique circumstance as it's the only table where you are less likely to have drawn the combination of cards by this turn than not. For reference, under normal circumstance, you only have a 42.4% chance to have drawn the combination of two cards by turn 5. This means the right column is calculated with the 57.6% that you did not draw your desired combination. Another thing to note is that if you do have one of the combo pieces in hand already, shuffling your hand away may not be ideal. Again, we can take a look at the numbers by turn 6. By turn 6, in a normal non-crystal game, you have a 54.5% chance to have drawn your desired combination of two cards by turn 6, which is now in your favor compared to turn 5. Note this assumes that you can play both on turn 6, such as a Cerebro plus Mystique combo. The odds are worse if you needed to play one of those cards by turn 5. Crystal has been around since the beta, but has come up in conversation again due to the inclusion of Zabu to the game. Zabu reduces the cost of 4 cost cards, which benefits Crystal, as there is less opportunity cost to play her. 
you are also more likely to play another card alongside her, making Crystal better than normal. Anyone who has played with Zabu knows that this is a very powerful effect, but you really need to play Zabu on turn 3. This will only happen in 50% of games. Comboing that with Crystal on turn 4 will only happen in roughly 27% of games. This also doesn't account for if you want to shuffle your hand away, so the odds of having the combo and wanting to execute it is even less, which hopefully gives even more context to the marginal gains presented in the other tables. Even with the inclusion of Zabu to the game, Crystal still isn't feeling great in my opinion. On paper, it seems like a fantastic way to fix your hand, but those scenarios, combined with the actual odds of your hand improving, seem to make this a dead card more often than not. The middle location restriction can even mess up situations where you did want to get this effect. A fun bit of history there, on June 29th, during the beta, that portion of the text was added to the card as an intended buff. The developer comment was, This change gives Crystal more flexibility in case players don't want to replace their hand. While this makes some sense, the amount of times you actually want to play a 4 cost card for just 4 power compared to playing any other card from your hand seems rare. This is a tricky card to balance, as you do not want to make card draw too good, so we will just have to see how the utility of Crystal changes as the game continues to grow. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know in the comments if you learned anything or if you disagree with anything from this video. Your feedback is always appreciated. If you have any other math-related ideas you'd like to see explored, put those in the comments too. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I will see you in the next one.